Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to M Tech Viral, and we are going good. So, welcome to my Python tutorial number three. And now we are going to cover something like tuples, sets, booleans. Okay, so let's start without wasting any time. So, in Python, tuples are very similar to lists. However, unlike lists, they are immutable, meaning they cannot be changed. So, strings were Im uh, were immutable, lists were mutable, and again this uh, tuples are again immutable so you would use tuples to present things that shouldn't be changed such as uh, like uh, for example it can be days of week like sunday monday this is not going to change okay so we can use it as tuples or dates as a calendar so these are not going to change so we can use tuples in this case if you don't want to use tuples then it's okay it's all your choice so let's see how we can construct tuples what are their methods what why it is immutable and when to use it so um you will know that how to use tuples after going through this so let's see how to construct a tuple so let's say we have a variable t is equal to now for tuple we use these brackets okay this one uh, one two three okay so this is tuple okay we can again uh, check length of this and we should not leave space for indentation. So let's say we have length of t as well. So this is similar to list. Okay, so this you can do. We can also mix object types in tuples. Like we can write t is equal to uh, say one, and we can also have one second two. Okay, and we can have three point five. So this is uh, functionality is similar to list and uh, we can do everything which we can do in list so these are uh, and tuples we can use indexing as well <coughs> sorry so we can use something like this t and uh, zero which will give us the first uh, element okay and we can use slicing just like list like i can write here t minus one so it will be similar to that i'm not going to uh, print all of these but you can do it if you want and uh, this is how we use tuples so tuples have some built-in methods as well um, but uh, not as many as list do so because because there is a difference between list and uh, tuple somehow and that is why it has less methods than list so let's say uh, what we want to do so let's say we want to do print t dot index okay and one okay so let's print it and let's see what happens so it gave me zero okay so once index is zero so that is cool okay uh, now let's say we have another one here okay so what we can do here we can also count it count okay count one let's run this again and it gave me two because we have two ones in this tuple okay so this is about uh, some uh, method generic methods of tuples and uh, so it can't be stressed enough that tuples are immutable because it derives to that point home okay so because of this immutability tuples can't grow once a tuple is made we cannot add to it like if i want to change this zeroth element to be two so it is not possible so it is giving me error does not support item assignment okay so this is why it is immutable okay so this was the case in a string as well and we cannot have uh, one more thing is that we don't have every list method here so we don't have this append method okay there is no append okay which was available in the list so now you must be wondering <laughs> when to use tuples if it is not uh, you know uh, add any um, value to our code so why we will use it so um, why bother using tuples when they have fewer available methods so to be honest tuples are not used as often as lists in programming we very rarely use them but uh, are used when immutability is necessary so if uh, in your program you are passing around an object and uh, need to make sure it does not get changed 
then tuples become your solution it provides a convenient source of data integrity you can say so you should now be able to create and use tuples in your programming as well and have an understanding of their immutability now let's talk about sets and booleans so let's write it sets uh, sets and what the f sets and booleans okay so we will talk about them so there are two other object types in python that we should uh, quickly cover sets and boolean sets sets are an uh, unordered collection of unique elements we can construct these by using the set function uh, let's say let's see how it works okay so let's say x is a variable and i can say set so this is uh, how we can uh, create sets okay x is a set now i can add uh, what can uh, I can add two sets like using x dot add one okay so I have a element in our in my set so I can print x now and let's run this and you can see set one is the output okay so uh, again so note that the curly brackets here okay this does not indicate a dictionary okay although you can draw analogies as a set being a dictionary with only keys but this is not the case and we know that a set has only unique entries okay you can't have uh, again like this one okay let's let's say i am adding one again okay now if i will run this again you can see this is uh, just a set one because it will not add um no, uh, repeated elements okay so if you will add a different element like I have I would have added here two, then if I I will just clear it and then if I will run it so you can see set one comma two. So this is for unique elements only. Okay. So notice that uh, it didn't place the same element. So this is the uh, different thing about set that it consists of only unique elements. So we can cast a list with multiple repeat elements. To a set to get the unique elements okay so you must be wondering what i'm what the heck i'm saying so let's say we have uh, like this list l is equal to one one oh sorry one one two two three 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 four five six and now we uh want to get the unique values from this list so what we can do we can cast it to set like say set l okay fine now let's print l and let's see what happens so it is now again giving me the same thing so let's try this so it is giving me set one two three four five six when i resign this so what it means that if I want to get the unique element, then I can use set. Now let's talk about boolean. So Python comes with booleans uh, with predefined true and false uh, displays that are basically just the integers one and zero, one for true and uh, zero for false. So it also has a placeholder object called none, uh, which you have seen earlier in some videos that whenever I printed something, it returns none sometimes so let's walk through a few quick examples of booleans so let's say a is equal to true it starts with a capital t okay and now if i'll print a what happens is it will return true okay so this is simple so these are booleans it is very easy so let's say if i want to print one uh, one is greater than two okay so what it will return it returned false one is never greater than two and we can also use none as a placeholder for an object that we don't want to reassign yet let's say how so b is equal to none okay so that's it you should now have a basic understanding of python objects and data structure types next uh, go ahead and do the uh, review exercises if you want because this is all about it like if i will print p here then it should return that none okay so you need to practice a little more to understand more of it so that you don't forget it 
you have you just have to uh, repeat or you have to practice for uh, you know easily understand these basic things and this is very easy in python so i hope you like this video and i'll see you in the next video and please don't for, uh, forget to subscribe to the channel and share the video and if you have any question then you can comment anytime thank you